Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be having a bit of a ramble about the Crimson Harvest event, or the complete lack of an event, as is the case this time around. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with these ramble videos, just sit back, put this on in the background to listen to. Any visuals I have up on screen will be vaguely relevant, but you don't need to pay attention to what's up on screen, so do the dishes, walk the dog, do whatever it is you need to do. So, why are we talking about the Crimson Harvest event? Well, as we well know, Halloween has been and gone, and I've left this video as late as I could get away with in the vain hope that netties were just holding off on pressing the button for activating an event, but that never did really happen, did it? So, the Crimson Harvest, if we go all the way back to 2020, we had this brilliant event and it was incredibly low effort on the developer's side because all the event consisted of was a bunch of anomalies spawning across low sec and null sec. And these anomalies had gear in them, uh, gear that didn't spawn particularly often, incredibly rare stuff. And of course in there you also had the ability to get skins. So right there all it was was go to these locations, get these skins, get these rare modules and possibly have to fight with other people over the rewards. And that was the whole point of the Crimson Harvest event, everybody just scrambling and brawling over the same anomalies for this event exclusive gear. It was brilliant. And in the years since then, the Crimson Harvest event has been a little bit more, um, what's, a little bit more tame, but the developers have put a lot more effort into it. Um, what I'm referring to is the events that we had last year. Last year, the event was incredibly story driven. So instead of us running out to these anomalies that were quite easily created by netties, we went through an entire narrative whereby there were custom portraits, background artwork, and entire narratives and storylines that we had to follow in order to get our Crimson Harvest rewards, whether those were giveaway skins or skill points or any other items that were a part of that event. And it was all right. I mean, yes, the overwhelming majority of us, myself included, will have speed tapped our way through the dialogue because it won't have really meant anything to us. But it was clear and evident that netties had put effort in. Of course, we complained at the time that it was basically just a front for the cash shop because of course, if you wanted the really, really good skins, you still had to go to the store. But there was still an event. There was still a Crimson Harvest event. It wasn't the same event as the one that we'd enjoyed previously, but it was still there. This time around, however, all we have is the store page. Now yes, we can get the Destroyer and the Cruiser option boxes for just disc. We don't have to go and dry up the Plex market or empty out our wallets with Auron. And yeah, unfortunately, the ISK cost is a little bit high. I believe it was over 3 billion ISK just to get the cruiser one so that I can fly around with the skin on an arbitrator. But uh, yeah, what are your guys think? Uh, thinks? Wow, okay. I'm getting off to a really good start with this ramble. What are your guys thinks? What are your guys thoughts on this event. Why do you reckon that netties have just completely abandoned it altogether and given us a storefront? We know that it's not a simple case of the developers don't care about the game anymore and they're doing low effort, no... It, you know where I'm coming from. It's not like the, the developers have put this game into maintenance mode and everything is low effort going forwards because we're still getting new content. Like, We've just had super carriers. We've had the Corporation Tech Tree. We've got Titans in the somewhat near future. It, the, the game clearly isn't on live support yet. So what's going on with the event? It's something I'm kind of scratching my head over and I wish I could make this video a little bit longer than it is, but unfortunately there's just not a massive amount stuck in my brain at the moment to talk about. So this will be where I just ask you guys in the comment section below. What do you think is the reasoning behind the Crimson Harvest event just not happening and just being a storefront? I did see one comment on one of my videos about how 
Uh, it's all part of them toning it down and making sure that there's no big hoo-ha around it because they want the big hoo-ha to be around the upcoming... Um, oh, what's it called? Interstellar Bazaar. There we go. I was about to pause the recording to scramble my brain and find the name for that. The Interstellar Bazaar. So apparently this could be axed just so that the Interstellar Bazaar gets more publicity. But personally, why not give every event more publicity? Try and make the game promoted more. But anyway, this is just me rambling. I'd like to hear your thoughts below. And um, if you're scratching your head, you're a new player and you're wondering what the Crimson Harvest that I'm referring to was, I'll be sure to leave at the end of the video in the end screen card the Crimson Harvest 2020 event retrospective video. So you can go and check that out if you want to. But anyway, thanks again for listening, guys. Um, fly casual in New Eden. Yeah, I managed to remember what my ending catchphrase was there. I usually forget. See you guys.